Well, it was a super weekend in sports. And here with all of the latest news, notes, and highlights is Sonny Young with the sunny side of sports. Hi, Sonny. Hi, Vincent. Hello, Demi. Super weekend in sports. Let's kick off in Indianapolis, Indiana, where the New York Giants have lifted the Super Bowl trophy in American-style football in one of the most popular sporting events here in the USA. The Giants once again defeated the New England Patriots 21 to 17 in Super Bowl 46. It was a rematch of Super Bowl 42. Eli Manning was voted the game's most valuable player. There we see Eli lifting the trophy. He completed uh, 20 of his 30 passes and led the Giants on a game-winning scoring drive at the end. The Giants beat the Patriots to win the Super Bowl. African football fans are looking forward to Wednesday's semifinals at the Africa Cup of Nations tournament in Gabon and Equatorial Guinea. Zambia will go against Ghana in the first semifinal in Bata, Equatorial Guinea. And that will be followed by a match between Mali and pre-tournament favorite Ivory Coast in Libreville, Gabon. The winners of the two semifinals will play on Sunday, February 12th in Libreville, for the Nations Cup trophy. In results on Sunday, Ghana defeated Tunisia 2-1 in extra time, and Mali Edge co-host Gabon 5-4 on penalty kicks. Now it's time for part two of my conversation about the Africa Cup of Nations with Emil Embo, a former player on Cameroon's national team. Emil, uh, though your playing days are over, you're still uh, very involved in football. Uh, you run a uh, soccer academy uh, right here in the Washington area. Can you tell our viewers a little bit about that? Yeah, uh, when I came in the U.S., uh, I decided to, to stay in the arena. I knew better uh, football, soccer, and uh, I said, because my, my philosophy is more about development. It's not uh, about winning uh, at any cost, but develop players. Because in the long term, uh, here kids start playing soccer very young, uh, but it's structured. It's not like in Africa where you play in the streets and you grow up in the streets and later on when you turn teenager, you have a coach. But here it's very structured. And sometimes uh, we have to think about it and, and, and let the kids be them, themselves meaning they have to they have to to be more creative by letting them sometimes try things on their own and not give directions all the time then now uh, in my academy we're doing a lot of that and uh, the results are there emil what are the ages of the uh, children at your soccer academy uh we go from five years old to 19. Do you pattern it all after maybe some of these European uh, camps? I know they bring in children at a young age and, and try to develop them. Yes, uh, we have some kids who went to, 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 to do some tryouts in, in Europe, Germany, France, Holland, and even uh, in uh, England. And it's, it's really good because it gives, it gives to the parents and the, and the, and the kids the, the latitude to go anywhere and, and play the, the game they love. How do you see soccer here in the United States? I mean, it doesn't quite have the popularity as in Africa or in Europe, but uh, do you see it uh, growing? Soccer is growing, but uh, I think the system is not, is not uh, I think the system has to be changed. Uh, in terms of, like I said before, the structure is too structured and uh, there's no creativity. And you can see when the, when the U.S. national team plays, you can see that there's a lot of talent, but there's no, there's no creativity no in, the, in the team, no flair. We, we, need, we, need, we need that flair. Finally, getting back to the Nations Cup, Emil, uh, this is the first time that Gabon and Equatorial Guinea have staged the tournament. Uh, do you think it's a good thing that, that some of these uh, countries that maybe haven't been in the spotlight in African football are getting the chance to host such a prestigious uh, competition? Yeah, I think uh, it's good, and uh, the best thing is that now you can, uh, you can, you can, uh, you can, you can have two countries to, to, to organize uh, an event, and that's very important. And I think uh, it shows that everybody can can really organize something very nice if they give them a chance. Emil Embu, our guest on In Focus. Emil, thank you for uh, being on the program. Thank you very much.
<laughs> hey, Sonny, very enlightening um, yeah. kind of a conversation there. Yeah, I think uh, the children at his soccer academy must really uh, appreciate This is a guy who played in two World Cups for Cameroon in 1990 and 1994. A lot of uh, talent and expertise there. Yes. I like what he says that, uh, you know, you need to let the kids be more creative, especially at a younger age, before you get them really structured. Because that's how all the greatest footballers have uh, started off. Yeah, and know. they say that's one of, well, we heard Emil say it, that's one of his big criticisms of yeah. the U.S. team. There's just not enough, you know, not enough creative talent mm -hmm. on the squad. But, uh, yeah, it was, he was a, a nice guy to uh, talk with about yeah. soccer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. thank you. Thank you very much, Sonny. Thank you, Sonny. It was great. Well, and... Um, that's it. That's it. <laughs> That's it for today. Be sure to watch In Focus on our website at voaafrica.com. And for more news, please tune into VOA's evening radio show, Africa News Tonight at 1600 and 1800 UTC, and in the mornings to Daybreak Africa between 0300 and 0600 UTC, Monday through Friday. Good night. Good night.